This video is sponsored by my patrons on Patreon, and like them, you can pledge money to support me and help make my content better. In return, you can get videos one day earlier, an exclusive role in the Discord server, priority in Q&As or community play nights, and so much more. Check the link on the screen or in the description below to pledge today. Otherwise, like or vote, subscribe or follow, share, and even donate directly to Casual Mode Live via Twitch. However you support Casual Mode, your assistance is appreciated. Enjoy the show, and as always, keep it casual, y'all. Disassociative kids, known is known only to us as Magiel of the Shadows. High class magician of some sort, he looks to be about thirty. This mysterious figure who could allegedly slip in and out of the shadows. At times it seems as though I'm hanging around someone from another world. Surge. Radical Dreamers. Chrono Trigger, Prophet Skyle. For the SNES, this is a ROM hack. That basically says, well, what if we saw the stuff that uh, that uh, Magus did when he wasn't with us? Between the time that he got sucked in from Lavos and the time that we came across him again in uh, in the uh, distant past. So let's go through that. We're going to leave him named Magus, because at this point in our Chrono Trigger playthrough, we had not yet renamed him to his original name. And it's always best to start at the beginning. In this case, the final battle. Between, in this case, the last battle that uh, our team had against Magus. Well, what have you done to the Masamoon? What the? Could it be Lavos? Bad timing. Don't wake up on me now. Wake up! You're the one who created him! You fools. I only summoned him. He lives in the inner earth. Absorbing the land's power and growing ever stronger. What? What's going on? The, the, the gate! You! If you hadn't shown up... Chrono! Ah! Whoa! Thus, Magus was deposited in a cave. The magic cave? Have I fallen? Snowfields. A world of ice? This place? Th that means... Remixes of the classic music there, by the way. These walls. If I step here, then... Bad, bum, bum, bad, bum, bum. The, 
This is impossible. It's flying. Have I made it back? The gate has deposited me here? Zeal is in one piece. Will Shala be alive? Of course, Lavos! Lavos will... My god. I have a chance to stop it. I can exact vengeance at the source! Zeal. I can't believe it. I don't know if this is supposed to sound like this, but, uh... This is sounding kinda... Bad. Hmm. I would cause I would cause much alarm here. Perhaps should I I should appraise things in the city of dreams. That's pretty much your cue saying, hey, idiot, go back there and do something. Everything forged in fealty to fire, water, light, and shadow has been relocated to the North Palace. The stewards of Zeal are preparing for a full switch to the boundless power of the slumbering immortal, Lavos. The gurus have liked it, it to burning bridges behind oneself. How unfortunate! Yeah, can't wait to see how that, how they're gonna fuck that up. Welcome to Nahasa, where dreams... My, you have quite an aura there. I'm curious of your origins. Uh, I apologize. Enjoy this splendid city of dreams, traveler. Our magnificent king, removed from this world in a single flash. It is troublesome to accept, but thankfully, the queen is selflessly working to restore, no, surpass his glory. Elemental tools are already sealed, and the promise of eternal life rampant. The Pamon machine's activation at the Sage's Autowater Palace must be only days away. Correct. There is indeed something holding Janus back. With a lineage such as his, he should have remarkable ability. Man's traveling. I've tried exercises, drills, the works. Everything becoming Adam with the intent to really fl inflict pain. But I can't do that. Not to Royal. 
Yes, it be beyond your, be beyond your authority. Don't worry too much. Before the Sunstone was sealed up, we did confirm he can receive energy. He's probably a slow learner. In this case, we need less haste and more speed. Be patient and work with him diligently. It will come. I sensed his potential. Be ready when he finally unleashes it. Thanks, wise one. I will continue to work with Janice. Wise one, should we take him to the Ocean Palace when it's ready? The activation of the Mammon Machine might coax a little talent out of him. Such a precipitous event. No, let us leave him here. I have my doubts about the Ocean Palace. Even Balthazar has expressed worthy worry. Best to keep him safe at the palace. Understood. Thank you for your audience. Janice, I'll take you to your room. <laughs> it went anyway. I'd better devise a way to attend the christening of the mammoth machine. Shala's presence is inevitable, and the old men may get in the way. They must be removed. Perhaps I can impress the queen. Excuse me. Welcome to Kichar. The Traveler? Uncanny! Please, before you go, send some of your unique knowledge to our ledgers. are a different species. Hey, hey, hey now, they all come from the same mother!
I've been working myself crazy over Ocean Palace gas ventilation. Balthazar's system keeps fresh, fragrant oxygen. Fresh, fragrant oxygen. Not an easy phrase to say. Fresh, fragrant oxygen. Fresh, fragrant oxygen. Fresh, fragrant oxygen. Fresh, fragrant oxygen. Got some prototypes of my new tap devices stored in bulk at the Ocean Palace. But enough of that! I spy a tasty lunch. Eggs are so delicious. I wasn't talking to you. Shut up. is on a mission to make capsules, harnessing strength and magic power, such devices could really level the playing field among citizens. Yeah, I know. The Cerulean Lake is such a nice retreat, and the palace rises o over with dominion of earth, water, and air. The Cerulean Lake. I wonder if Misty spends a lot of time there. Such pale skin, have you come from the land of the snow and ice? You know, yeah, I, I may come from the land of the ice and snow with the midnight sun where the hot springs glow. Hammer of the gods drives our ships to new lands. It's a Viridian wish. Ah, so it's uh, Giovanni's wish then, huh? A lot of Pokemon episode. A lot of Pokemon references this episode. By which I mean two. Dalton rose through the ranks with a bad attitude. Someone should put that jerk in his place. Yeah, I agree. He'll be back, new. No. Oh, he'll be back, new. No. Uncanny beings like anything else. Perhaps the elves? Masa and Mune? Masa and Mune? Queen Zia hit one of her aides last week. It's like something you're not supposed to talk about. But considering that, like, she did it in front of, like, everyone...
Hi, an eerie. Excuse my manners. What do you seek? I've come to speak with the queen. May I enter? I'm sorry, but the queen is not accepting guests today. Do you have business? I am clairvoyant. I am aware of Zervan's serene tides, their depth, direction, and destiny concerning the course of humankind. From secluded, quiescent realms, I've come to observe the ascendancy of zeal and aid its rise to lordship over this world. And the queen awaits my prophecy. Relate my arrival to her, please. One moment. The queen has granted you audience. Proceed. Ah, suddenly I had time to change into that cloak. Well? My queen, I am a nameless prophet. The current of dreams reveals itself to me in plentiful visions. A time ago, I sensed the coming glory of zeal and knew the hour of godhood was nigh. I knew I must journey to the cloud's domain and observe. The events of the coming enchanted days lie seriatim in my mind. But fate and foolish men may yet disrupt this order. You see everything, do you? Hmm. Continue. My queen, allow me to stand in your holiest court here and help to lift the dream of zeal with my perceptive powers. Even now I have foreseen a violent storm threatening to impede the skyways. It will strike in... <laughs> Congratulations, Prophet. You've predicted yesterday's tempest with stunning accuracy. <laughs> You're a natural at this. But do you know what happens to those who lie to the Queen? Excuse my miscalculation. Traveling in the barrel blizzards has obscured my notion of time. Tomorrow, an earthbound child will be born in the caves. I... <laughs> Who cares? Children come of those wretched people all the time. What does it matter? Perhaps you should spend some time thinking of your own fate over on the ice below. Hear me, my liege. Do you know of the secret chambers the gurus keep from you? Secret chambers? Yes. The sages steal away and hide their tomes in mysteries and covert rooms, hidden in both the cities of magic and dreams. Their concealing intent and coy deception impress upon my sight. Can you show me these hidden rooms, Prophet? Now, I have to wonder... How is it that Magus knew about these rooms in the first place? What did Janet was Janice shown these rooms? Is, is this kind of a stable time loop thing where it was always destined that Magus would be the one? to uncover these rooms for Queen Zeal and thus cause the uh, gurus to be banished? I have to wonder. But how was this kept for us so long without us knowing? And how did you know? These date back to the construction of Zeal before, during the first days of flight. Behold their research in magical stones, with the potential for spells surpassing that of the royal arts. Sheer treachery. Ha! 
but the game is up. Dalton, order your corps to seal the rooms up. Understood. The gurus have much to answer for. Prophet, you've done well. Perhaps you have a place in my service. What? He's totally unproven! Anyone could have guessed there'd be secret rooms in here. There are plenty in Zeal Palace alone, just do a little ticking. What are you trying to say? Let's sit our prophet on a little errand to prove his power. If he can tell what's going to happen next, then he'll be okay. Combat? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I have demonstrated my ability already. <laughs> no, my seneschal has the right idea. It would be interesting to see a soothsayer fight. The wild beasts have made a nest near the land bridge. They attacked an enlightened one just yesterday. Dalton's men were going to kill them, but I think you can handle it alone. Isn't that right? Sorry, I'm shaking up some uh, cold tea to uh, get the uh, sugar mixed up. Whoever said sugar cannot mix in cold drinks did not shake did not shake or stir enough. <laughs> yes, I see it. <laughs> good. Get going and uh, good luck. <laughs> So, so, you've detected that shadowy aura too? Now we'll see if he can make something of it. What tipped you off? <laughs> Hurry and seal this room. I'll be waiting in the palace. mysterious person. I have no items. Also, we don't learn techniques. It's all story progress. So, you finally showed up. Just heard the news. Trail goes straight to the nest. They aren't too smart, you know? Well, time to ride the light. You're on your own. Alright. We haven't done any fighting whatsoever yet, so... Start off hot. Burn! Me gon' let it burn, 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 burn. 
We gon' let it burn, 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 burn. Alright, and 200 to the next level. Alright. Disgust just healed up when he didn't need to. Ow. Burn Maximal. Burn! Burn Maximal! For the royalty! I love Inferno. Bound. We gon' let it burn, 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 burn. We gon' let it burn. I feel like I'm using the wrong, wrong tech here. Oh yeah, silly me. Lightning to shock the bones, right. At least I know what to do this time. Shock them before they hurt me. Hiding behind the rock and shoot the bolts of lightning. Hiding behind a rock and I'm shooting bolts of lightning. Thunder bolts and lightning. Very, very frightening me. Got it out. Got it out. Got it, El Figaro. Magnifico! I'm just a prophet, nobody likes me. He's just a prophet from the royal family. Spare him his life from this monstrosity. Cock 
Oh well. Burn! At least I know how to quickly take care of the plane bounds. How? Hide behind a rock and shoot lightning! Skeleton. Actually, I hope he does die real fast. Because I do not want him to uh, kill me. Magazine's level up got a shelter. Gimme. Gimme shelter. Ugh, how'd you know? <sighs> Never mind, don't want me to ask. Why did you follow me? Are you serious? As soon as you stepped out of Kajar, word spread like fire. You think Queen Zeal will throw away a prophet? I mean, she's got weird lately, but not stupid. I'm here just in case you can't fight. Yeah, in retrospect, that was a given. Anyway, let's hurry back. The Queen can't wait. Meanwhile, 65 million years ago, Eerie glowing blue. It's because I set up my controller with steam. How was your little excursion? 
By yourself? <laughs> As you requested, my queen, the beasts hide. <laughs> Wonderful! So it's not all just for show. I'll have you know, Prophet, that while you were gone, an Earthbound child was born. And for some idiotic reason, Shala's gone to see it. Perhaps to start the child's lifetime of servitude early? <laughs> A question, if I might ask. Speak, speak. How is construction on the Undersea Palace proceeding? Does the hour of christening near? The palace? What do you see, Prophet? Will we obtain immortality at last? Well, yes. Zeal will be forever. Provided you are able to get the seven Dragon Balls and wish the Eternal Dragon for immortality. Otherwise, you're fucked. What well, just happened to the music? But, for my question, I cannot foretell the exact moment the glory is ours. But there are plots against you brewing. From my meditations, I have found five interlopers planning to descend from an etheric realm and destroy Lavos itself. Their ranks include a man with pointed red hair brandishing a slender sword, a woman in pearl white with piercing bow at her grasp, a golden doll with hammering fist and seething steam, a woman with eagle eyes and weaponry that spits awful fire, and a mythic frog wielding a magic blade with cowardly stance. I, I just love that little dig at Glenn there. They seek to kill the great god Lavos and shatter the dream of zeal upon the dying earth below. So, envious race are gathering to diminish our majesty, but they are fated to die, isn't that right? Fate can be altered, though slightly. My queen, you must not give any quarter or allowance to opposition at this stage. But they are not the only ones planning to wreck Zeal's flight. The gurus have suffered a loss of pride thanks to our discovery. They now openly conspire and will sabotage the Mammon machine. They must be hastily dealt with. I knew it! They've been avoiding this palace for days, and now this! They seek only personal gain. Well, it's all going to come back to them in spades. <laughs> Prophet! Leave us. I have much to think about. You will stay in a royal guest room. You! Show him his quarters. Well, we've gotten into the good graces of the Queen. I think now is a good time to pause. So, don't go anywhere though. We are going to be picking this up. See you in a bit. Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Prophet's Guile. Chrono Trigger, the Chrono Trigger hack. In the last episode we met up with the Queen, got into her good graces, as the uh, prophet that we are. And by prophet, I mean using what knowledge we have of the future to our advantage, like it were a sports almanac. Answer me. Hmm. Look after Alpha Door Janus. Hmm? Ah, healing circle. Yay. Healing circles are always good to have. As are naps. Bum, bum, ba, bum, ba. Ha 
<laughs> you know, it sounds so easy. I, I didn't quite get enough star scream into that. <laughs> Easier than you think. Lavos will enter this world with a simple summon and proceed to eradicate humanity in total. With dark arts capable of tearing even the heavens asunder, Lavos will bury their entire civilization in an instant. Damn. All at once? No regard to his victims? I mean, jeez, that's hard to... Just as the humans want, have oppressed us, Lavos will crush them all. There will be no escape. And no mercy. <laughs> Ooh, dreamy. But sounds dangerous. Yes. Lavos is our dream of revenge. He is the will of mystics divined in godhood. Soon that dream will reach its fulfilling end. Let's get started. Sis, it feels so dark. I know, Janice, but we are the gurus. And Mother means the best for Zeal. It'll be okay. But the wind's back. The black wind is always with us, but to find that faded gale is what Zeal stands for. They say Lavos can let us resist even death and silence the black wind forever. Do you believe that? Talk to the queen. Now that we're fully healed. Then why do you care? You said it's safe. What's the big problem? I said that fine. But the closer we get, the more dangerous this seems. Do you know what Lavos is? Does anyone? We're playing with mighty big fire here. Silence! I'm so sick of this, back and forth and over again. And then you keep secret rooms. Uh, I, those rooms were ancient labs, uh, and... well... See? You're just like the other two. Treacherous, conniving, aggrandizing. I love the long words in this, I really do. I'm not going to sacrifice zeal on a fool's gamble, even if I have to destroy my own creation. Like you'll get the chance. Prophet! Just as you described, Melchior's guilty, and the other two are nowhere to be found. Now, take this pathetic old man and check him up on Mount Woe for the time being. <laughs> no one can defy me! <laughs> well then, on your guard, charlatan! Bing! Eh? <laughs> Get the hell out of here! Please take the special skyway on the right to the Queen's bedroom. There you will find her access gate to Mount Woe. Teleport, Mario! Let's 
head to Mount Wool. Don't let harm come to Melchior. Alright, so I have to take the lead at all points. Lest Melchior get the smackdown laideth, laideth upon his candy ass. Shysa! Got a mid time. Not what I was trying to do, but I wanted to. I wanted to get that chest first. Come on, get Malkyr, get the fuck out of the. out of the way. You're in my way, sir. Comes. Watch out, boy, it'll chew you up. Whoa, here it comes. It's a man eater. It's a plant. How is fire not effective? It should be super effective. Jesus Christ. Okay, so it's ice, then. Either that or it's physical. Let's try and smack it. Let's try to smack it. Okay, so clearly this... Okay, so clearly these plant types have high special defense. Again with the Pokemon references. Okay, so note to self, heal up after this. Such painful flavoring. What is it? Monosodium glutamate? Actually, no. Monosodium glutamate is not actually all that harmful. Crap. But we mustn't be careless. All oh, right. We've got the world's fastest rocks here. The world's fastest rocks here. They can do nothing else but stop me from burning it alive.
You're in my way, sir. Damn it! I touched it first! How come it hit Melchior? Why did it hit Melchior? Some of these just come out of nowhere. Good news is, thus far, Melchior has not been hit once. See, this one plays by the rules. This monk plays by the rules. I touch the monk first. He doesn't fuck with Melchior. Rubble. to get through there. That's two. I think that's three. We'll find out.
Nope. <sighs> Barely got through that. Prophet, do you know why I allowed you to take me this far? Why I've complied so easily? I couldn't care. That's... That feels like... That feels like... The Moss Moon! So, even that sword may have its origins in zeal, but it's a knife. <laughs> Too bad I can't ask you more when you wake up, Melchior. It's not in the cards. Now, for that spell. And now I can run back through here without worrying about a frickin' escort mission. So I can kick everybody's ass with impunity now. He's gonna run away. Uh, damn it! Fuck you, rock. Fuck you, world's fastest rock. Spinning in midair. I don't need to spin in midair. I can spin on the ground. Damn sight more effective, too. Come on, world's fastest rock. World's fastest rock, come and get some goddamn bit fuck. Those freaking rubbles, I swear that they fucking suck. Try like one ice on these guys just to see. I highly doubt it's gonna be effective, but I just wanna see. Nah, six, 60 each, okay. At least I did knock down my number of needed attacks by one on this. And pointless critical.
Of course, there's no ambushes now. Why? Because I don't have someone with me. Hmm. Prophet, did you truly take him up there? I don't know if you are well versed in our ways, but Mount Woe is not a prison at all. Rather, those left at the peak are devoured or killed outright by the terrible beast Giga Gaia. P please tell me you didn't. Melchior had valid concerns. For someone who's given his life to zeal, it's just... Don't worry, Shala. I was not aware of that custom. I sealed Melchior in ice stasis. He will not be touched. Oh, thank goodness. Mother's turning on him like that is so horrible. I, I don't know what to think anymore. I don't know why I'm telling you this. It will be okay, Shala. Be calm. And I have learned Magic Wall. Meanwhile, in the past, well, further past. I don't know how I missed those earlier. Let's go, let's go talk to our queen. Let's go talk to our queen. And actually, I think I'm going to actually uh, take a little bit of a pause on this here. And then we'll pick it up later on. So, yeah. Stay tuned. Hello, welcome back to Chrono Trigger, Prophet Skyle. So, off at the Mamon machine. Mamon. 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 So now I need to figure out where I need to go. Alright. Now I need to figure out where to go. Because obviously, um, it's not to the Mamon machine. Oh, there's a little flash of light there. I think I gotta go out to the flash of light there. Da 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 da
bottom. The source of Zeal's waterfalls, lakes, lies deep beneath here. Past a certain point, the water bubbles up or runs out below. Page news. Headline news. Prophet. The master wishes to know more about you. Shit. Now they cannot kill me. You cannot hurt me anymore. Every group of new, there's always one that does all but one HP, and there's always at least one that does precisely one HP, so that way they can fuck you. Fortunately, I was wearing protection, and by protection I meant my scythe. Why did you fight me, creature? No, oh, that hurts! Master Balthazar wanted to learn about you, no. Learn about me. He and Gaspar have fled Zeal, taking their equipment and magic with them. But why does he care what I do? You hasten the activation of the Mammon Machine, no. Black Wind surrounds you. It will only bring ruin to us. You are Death's Harbinger. <laughs> Balthazar's news could have personalities like that. Go back to your master. Tell him to watch the skies. With all three gurus out of the way, I can start my preparations at the Ocean Palace. Time to visit Queen Zeal. What? That's ridiculous! <laughs> the Prophet is of natural choice to lead the palace's completion. You're more cut out for guard duty as it is. That's not true! As Seneschal, I've succeeded Velvazar as director of the project! And since then, you've done nothing but fuss around while our Prophet works hard without complaint. What an example you've set! <laughs>
Alright, let's go see if we can talk to the queen again. The Mammon Machines Hall, alright then. So, hop over this way. Welcome. Prophet, you may now personally oversee the finishing touches on the Ocean Palace. I, I am honored to have the responsibility of this task. Uh, yeah, well, hurry it up. Well, well. Let's see how you handle this, Prophet. I was going to patch something up down there today, but... Since she's volunteered you. <laughs> Get down to those palace! This miserable earthbound are complaining about a contamination. Sea creatures and brining cre and brining waters pouring into one of the wings. So fix it! <laughs> Have fun now! Don't forget to exterminate all the monsters! Under the sea! Under the sea! Did the game just crash? Well, we've already been through this cutscene, so I'm just going to speed through it, not even voice act it. Under the sea. I feel like I've done that before. We're gonna give it a bit, see if it does anything. And if it doesn't, then we'll reset the game. See, this is the problem with ROM hacks. Sometimes they don't work. Sometimes you get to a certain point and then get stuck. Third time's a charm. If not, well, I guess we're moving on to Crimson Echoes. Thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, eight, one thousand, nine, one thousand, ten, one thousand. Okay, it's not working. Well, that's lovely. So, um, that was Chrono Trigger Prophet Skyle. It ended not with a bang but with a high-pitched whine. So, 
I don't know about you, but uh, I do not wish that to continue. I'm going to play Crimson Echoes instead. Hopefully you'll join me next time for that, because I'm not happy. See you then. So, um, Prophet's Guile crashed. So, um, and actually that reminds me of something I need to, I need to open up something and do something here because, um, yeah, um, That was kind of a pain in the ass. So we're now playing Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes. Because fuck me, I hate my life. Also, they changed the art. I'm not very happy about that. Likewise... Similarly... Isn't the moon wonderful? Tomorrow's a big meeting with Pori. Daddy's worried. I hope ain't nothing bad happens. Sometimes... I think... We can save the world. Yet we can't fix these angry people. I, I don't get it! Yeah... I'm not gonna worry about it, I guess. It's such a beautiful night. It's getting late. Don't sleep in tomorrow. I... Aww. Isn't it cute? Young love. Ta-da! Chrono! 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 Did you already forget? Today is a big day! Hear that? It's already 9 o'clock! Daddy's got a meeting with some diplomats and we've got to be there! Lucas waiting too! Get ready and come on! Rich! Booba! Mall's in a bit of a fit there, but before you run off with your friends, have some airs for you to run! Don't frown at me, mister! Now, you need to take a pie to Mrs. Elisa and Pore, this sword thingy to the Vanguard captain, and this card for the Medina ferryman's wife. You have a now, a son! Got a pie, Shamsir, and card. Run along now, and be back soon! Luca will come when you're needed at Gordia Castle! I swear, you kids are so busy these days! Have fun, Chrono, and don't get in any trouble! And there we go with the fucked up sound again. Vanguard Post. This is the Vanguard Post of Guardia. How may I help you? The Vanguard is a special section of Guardia's armed forces that is sworn to uphold its ideals and ensure peace and freedom. Who built it? The great warrior Glenn had this order charted in 601 AD after expressing doubts about the preservation of knightly values in the kingdom's future. Ten minutes, okay. Let's see. Isn't 
foray that we're supposed to take. Ah, Mrs. Lisa. Oh, hello, Crano. What can I do for you? It's been a while since I last came to visit. Oh, is this for us? Well, thank you. Pie. The pie. And now I should go to the Vanguard post. They may allow me to bring the same shit. Five minutes, okay. Are they fixed in the office? Can I go to Medina, please? Alright. Alright. I just... Let us do b b battle. an asshole. Something strange on the Rock of Medina. Selling Sam Shear. That would be dumb. That would be incredibly dumb. Terribly dumb. Awfully dumb. Ridiculously dumb. Taken care of. So I believe. 
believe. So it'd be a good time to uh, take the ferry. Take the ferry back home and see if we can see if we can go. To the exil to the vanguard and give them the sword that I've got in my backpack. Yep. There's the captain. Renault departed to the cathedral. So that's where we're gonna have to take the uh, the shams here. Classic history. Roche! <laughs> I thought Roche was a th thesaurus, not a historian. Also, uh, text artifact there. Alright. So, we gotta go find Renault in the cathedral. Go and tell mom that we've done the thing And now she's got not to say 
told you crying. Luca scientifically joins the party. She doesn't just join the party, she scientifically joins the party. Not much changed here. Hitake. I'd kill for Hitake. Well, yeah. Ding a ding a ding a ding. Squash and bugs. Join. equip the Arco Iris. Did I seriously not equip the Arco Iris? I could have sworn I equipped the Arco Iris. Level up for Luca. Straight into the throne room. Alright. Alright, question is where are. Where's the meeting? And why did I just up and blatantly skip over a chest. Supposed to go right now. 
this is entirely blind. So I don't know where to find where this meeting's being held. It's a uh, dicks. Wow, I failed there. Is dear God, could some kind NPC please tell me the path? There is Marl. Okay, that does help. Ah, you're all here. Proto, I take it you understand the proceedings? Yeah, if they try anything funny, we put them down. You're in safe hands with us, King. <laughs> It'd be most unfortunate for the poor and stacked out of life. The fanfare, they must have arrived. No, that's our entrance music. Greetings, Mike Leash. It was a nice trip here. Uh, let's get on with it, right? I understand your armed escort, but why do you both have full armor equipped? What are your names? It is a, a new policy to protect our emissaries, and, and my name is Angris. And your guard? Cat got his tongue? His voice is raspy. Lost, that is. He, he is a drill shot sergeant and shouts off. Fine, fine. Let's get a move on. Take your seats, gentlemen. Now, what are your grievances? The government of Pore seeks redress for three items. Firstly, we would like to annex a small, reasonable portion of Fiona's. What? Absolutely not! I have the foggiest idea what you're using all that fuel for, but you've already turned the outlying areas of Pore into barren grasslands. Why don't you research steam power with the rest of the world? I mean, I'm, I'm certain that coal is going to be absolutely clean and have no effects on the environment whatsoever. That, you know, investing in trying to get energy from the sun, or from the wind, or, or, or from, uh, from, you know, minute particles, uh, subatomic particles, th those aren't clean at all. No, no, it's gotta be coal. Macardia owns... Macardia owns all the patents and machine shops. That's not true. That's not true. You guys have a research laboratory on the coast. Uh, okay, whatever. Now the second matter. In 1000 AD, the former mayor of Pore possessed a powerful artifact. The Sunstone. The records indicate it was stolen by agents acting in the name of Guardia, and the mayor's family wishes to file claim of original ownership. It's the goddamn Sunstone. Ain't nobody on that shit. Huh? He gave that to us fair and square! I'm sorry, but his widow asserts that he was forcibly taken. Huh, that's a lie! Daddy, do something! All right, we'll put it under review. Ingress, go now. Ah, hey. Hey, I thought... I'm sorry, but can we be... Excuse for a moment. <laughs> this does not reflect well on you, but go ahead. What was that about? Hmm. Something just isn't right with those two. I get this creepy vibe from them. How about you, Chrono? <laughs> I concur. These two are docile compared to the usual emissaries. They aren't even arguing. Yeah, 
I don't feel safe with them running around here either. Chrono, let's check it out. Hey, wait up! Oh dear. I thought the Chancellor would attend. Doesn't matter now. We should get back before they get suspicious. Negative. We were given the directive to kill Negotiator if two out of three conditions were not met. What? We can't be serious. We're only supposed to ice the Chancellor. We can't murder King Guardia. On top of that, it was supposed to be discreet. You poison his drink, we get out, and no suspects are found. What? What are you two planning? Ugh. Come on, let's dust these three and get out of here. <laughs> Stand down or be shot! Situation compromised. Returning now. Whoa! Whoa! He's fast! Come on! We have to catch him! Keep up! Uh, I should have left it at home. All this jostling might ruin my work. So fragile. I spent six months just putting the pieces together. Hey! Oh my! We have to get him now! Finally! He stopped. Don't move. Why did he go to the Denodoro Mountains? Morrow, Luca, this looks like a... I've been trying to make a prototype. A time egg, and this was a prototype. I hope it wasn't damaged. Um, um, Luca? It's just burning off some excess charge. I, I think I should be able to take care of it in a few seconds. Hurry! That boring agent is getting away, and if this thing is really like the Chrono Trigger, th this could be bad. Oh. Oh boy. We have to get out of here. This thing is activating itself. It's what? Well, this is somehow from Machior. I'm starting to understand gate mechanics, but this one's damaged and can go at any second. I have no idea how powerful it is. Go? As in, explode? It'll unleash a temporal vortex in the immediate vicinity, like a big gate. If it works, that is. I don't think we have any choice. Let's get out of here. Come on, it's starting to give. Ah, dicks. Oh, God, motherfucking shit. We're heading back in time For what reason, I don't know A million years from BC With Isla and Kino Isla, Isla go! Isla leave Kino! No! Isla fight! No, Isla weak! If Isla fight, Isla die! Kino no want Isla die! That why Kino die! Kino die warrior! Go! Kino! Masamu. You helped me realize my hopes and dreams. I can't just see you back in the cave. You belong in the castle. Your true home, and where you're needed most. My captain, the... What? Don't you remember? I hate that formal crap. I apologize. Glenn, the king is ready to select the first leaders of the vanguard. He requests your presence at the castle. I see. Well, let's get going. Hmm. Hope I stay in this form for the whole meeting. What? Luca, what are you do what are you three doing here? Robo! Where are 
Yugi! <laughs> this is missing. This is most inter interesting. Most interesting and most interesting indeed. Gale has not left my ears since that since that day I got stuck in the teleporter trying to go to the ocean palace how long you wish death is nothing to the reaper don't fear the reaper Chapter 1, The Fate of Magus. And I think that's a good time to pause. We'll pick this up in a little bit. Alright, welcome back to Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes. Chapter 1, The Fate of Magus is starting right now. Did you hear the latest? They found some more ruins? Yeah, with the water receding and all, a bunch of sealed treasure is being found. Huh, maybe some people are crossing the ocean to get some of the artifacts. Pretty creepy guy, huh? No kidding. Such a pale face. And what's with those strange clothes? Guess you never know what to expect. <sighs> oh, you're up. We were worried. No need to thank us. We all have to work together to survive. I'll be leaving now. At least see the elder before. At least see the elder before you go. He rescued you, you know. Trixie bastard. That was not a save point. Hear what Sargon Sargon's been up to. Sargon of Acadia? Well, yeah, I I, I heard he tried to heckle. I tried to. I heard he tried to heckle Ornita Sarkeesian at VidCon, but uh, he got shut. It, he got shut down for that. Success! <laughs> Janice, may I ask of you? Some of the elderly have grown sick, myself included. Please, go and find Sargon, as he has a he has seal healing square. For our sake. <sighs> Fine, wait for my return. So I gotta go face Sargon of Acadia and get his healing square from him. Uh, time to go, kid. Time to go kick a dick, kick a dick in the dick, I guess. 
Time to go kick a dick in the dick. Shala, may you rest. I can't let anyone see this. Shala, may you rest. Not in peace, just may you rest. Nothing here. Welcome, er, hey, just who are you? Bet you're here to commandeer my Haley Square. Well, I won't let you have it. Look, I get, okay, I get it. You're a self-absorbed asshole, okay? Now think of someone other than yourself for once. Did you hear me, freak? Get out of here. Ugh. Command me again. And I'll spare no torment in your death. Sorry. Uh, what, what can I do for you? Sorry. I don't abide fools. Neither do I. I love how I can just walk over that giant flop, that giant whopping hole in the ground. Were you, were you able to? Yes, we see eye to eye. Elder, are there rumors true? Is Dalton still alive? There have been many sightings of people, persons in Jill's clothing. I get. Hey! This place hasn't changed! How's life on an ice cube treating you, old man? Uh, Dalton! Been a while, hasn't it? Tell me, Giza, where is this Sargon I've heard so much about? What? No! We were alone! Why do I not. Why am I not surprised that Dalton would like Sargon of Acadia? The Prophet. Give me a break. Now where is Sargon? Speak up. No. Get out of here. Prepare yourself, Dalton. Please. You're as obstinate as that traitor, Shala. You'll regret that. I disagree. Now can someone please tell me where Sargon is before I toast a lot of you? It ends here. No! My child is here! Please don't fight! Sargon is on the southern peninsula! You little shit! <laughs> Was that so hard? You get to live. For now! <laughs> I'ma kill you. I'ma kill him! Dalton! Has he been here? Lord Dalton? He asked me where I found my artifacts and hurried off. You told him? IDIOT! Do you know what you've just done? Wait! Please don't hurt me! Tell me where he is. The, the woods to the northeast! I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, I 
elixirs! I like getting elixirs. That was not what I was trying to do. Not very strong beasts, are they? Good thing I've got those elixirs. Toast see the reason why we got the elixirs. Because we are in a series of battles that we cannot escape. Burn, 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 burn. We gon' let it burn, 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 burn. Splendid! This is the piece, all right. Immortality is within my grasp once again. Dalton, a prophet again? <laughs> oh, you're too late, anyway. I shouldn't have left you alive back then. Actually, I love to stay in catch up, but I have a date with immortality. Should you wish to witness the birth of my divinity, the ceremony will be held at the ruins behind the mountain to the southwest. That said, do me a favor and die! This is why we got the elixirs. Oh no, how horrible. fast. Received one Iscariot. The 
attack up, attack up when an ally falls. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, uh, I won the battle. You can, uh... Really? Really? I gotta go through this shit all the way back? Nice to know I can use any magic on it and not have to use fire all the time. Got my eyes on you, Sargon. Well, I mean, not literally. I don't watch him. I, I have no reason to. Mountain to the southwest, he said. Where at the mountain to the southwest, exactly? Scimitar is sharp, but what is faster? What is the weapon used by a lasher? Dicks. Dicks, sticks, 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 sticks. GG. Nice to know I had a save point there and couldn't use my shelter. Alright. The ship was made disguised to tame and left the dock with this bright name. In Enhasa Deep, we answer dreams' calls. The interior features this color on the walls.
those up for the blackbird. White, gold, and blue. Ah, uh, new golem. Dicks. Dicks. So, uh, only one way I didn't go. In beautiful zeal, magic is norm. This type of magic is its most potent form. Shadow magic. Really? I swear to crap. Do I have to fight? Do I have to fight Golem Boss again? Once I get to the frickin' thing, I'm not gonna waste a bloody elixir over... I'm gonna be honest. Thus far, I am not impressed by this mod. Yeah, 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 Dalton, Dalton, Dalton. Dalton, Dalton, Dalton. <coughs> Dalton Dalton. Dalton Dalton Dalton. Dalton Dalton Dalton. Dalton Dalton Dalton. Dalton.
Blurp. My big daughter. Out of here without having to fight a fucking beast. It's like, okay, I get it. I get it. You're, you're putting these damn things in my way for no real reason whatsoever. Th this is not ingenious. This is infuriating. You're on one single narrow pathway with spots on the pathway that are designed to trigger beasts. You cannot avoid them. That completely subverts one of the key and most well-loved features of Chrono Trigger. Because, because of that, you cannot avoid unnecessary battles. And here's the other thing. I know I'm supposed to go into the side of the mountain here. But the exact placement of where you're supposed to go in is so finicky. And, and you can't see where the door is. Like, the, like where is it? Like, I had it earlier, and now I can't get in, because the exact placement of where you go in here has to be spot on. getting ready to play this game and I was doing Chrono Trigger itself and I would put in the tags for this video and set up everything on YouTube and whatnot. I saw an entry for this video game. I assumed that that meant that this had some kind of a loyal fan base. That there were people willingly what willingly playing this particular game through. I cannot see why people would play this through to the end. I mean, I you were seeing it. I am I'm going everywhere around this godforsaken mountain. I was in there earlier. I cannot get into it now. Why? Seriously! 
Is this how this ends? Is this how this ends? With two broken ROM hacks that are entirely uncompletable. I I'm not... I'm not trying to make this up to make myself look bad or to make this ROM hat look bad. I was able to get in earlier and now nothing. Nothing. Well, I suppose then you will all have to pay attention and see what my next playthrough is going to be. Because clearly I'm done with this. I'm not happy. I'm not happy in the slightest. I have been cheated, and I feel like you have been cheated, out of what could have been a nice experience with two ROM hacks based on the game that I love so much. I'm cheated out of it, and by extension you're cheated out of it. This is an entirely inauspicious end. And... I am beside myself right now. WTFE. What the fuck ever. So, thank you for joining us for the Chrono Trigger ROM Hacks Fail Collection this week. I do not know exactly what I'm playing next week at this particular point, and I'm too angry to make a decision on my own. So I suppose we'll just have to find out together now, won't we? Keep it casual, and please, for the love of God, beta test your ROM hacks. Good night.